Hey everyone, Zev here. Welcome to Yip's Hide and Seek Overview. Holy! <laughs> the number of reviews this is graduating from that app is kinda crazy. So it seems like people already know about it. No need to do an overview. <laughs> Me, myself and I never heard about it. Well, I mean, it's mostly because I'm not interested in general about Gorilla Tag mechanics, which this kinda borrows. Maybe it's gonna be different this time around, but I would not be counting on that. <laughs> so Yip's Hide and Seek is a sandbox building simulator game where you're put in a world with creatures that are full of stuffing that have the whole world and creativity at their disposal hide, seek and parkour your way around. I like that the concept is building on the already known mechanic with some sort of a sandboxy scenario where you can pretty much build anything you want, utilizing the intuitive block-based system and hang around in user-created environments. Art style is rather basic, but very heavily customizable, which is pretty interesting. As well as some movements of the characters, they're like doing barrel rolls in air, so I wonder how certain things will look in the headset if you actually <laughs> visually do that. On top of Gorilla Tag situation, you have a sandbox, so like I'm double screwed. And I hope there's gonna be at least a little bit of guidance of what to do. It also comes across as a heavily multiplayer based game, so it really depends on the community and the number of players you encounter. At the end, I don't think this is gonna cater to my specific taste, but we shall see. Entering the store with such high rating, well it has to be good, right? <laughs> Let's go meet some Yips. Oh my god, we're starting just like Gorilla Tag. Of course I can't turn, cause why not? Well, thank god. <laughs> Joystick rolling. What the? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> At least I got turning, so... That's halfway battle done. I'm okay. The movement isn't the worst, like... It's not a complete struggle. Oh, I'm dropping it. That's too big? Yeah, I mean, it is intuitive. There are no instructions though, so... I can basically just take anything and then throw. <laughs> well, I'm stuck. Oh God. It's with those games, I just don't feel like playing. <laughs> I 
Also grabbing is with trigger, which that's also why it's a bit confusing. Do I need to beat this? No. What's happening? <laughs> I mean, this is exactly the same concept as Gorilla. You just enter into unknown and then spam with some people. So I literally just do what I want. Yo, do you know how to travel 100 blocks with explosives? Uh, no. Okay. I do. Maybe. Like, camera act. Okay, can you help me? Go. Just for the recording purposes. And it's interesting that anyone can be a creator instantly. It's like you have complete freedom. Wait, their movement is so smooth. I have some kind of energy. That's fair though. The final frontier. Stars. Where is everyone going? No music. Oh god, am I turning into a boomer? And what is that? It's a drone camera. Oh. Customizable skill tree? I mean, I'm not surprised I'm confused what's going on. Of course you can buy coins, like, what a surprise. What's the main purpose? Like, everyone has those needles, so there has to be some combat going on, but... It's just a hang around place. Blue house. I mean, it is high than six, so. Wait, we're in a completely different world? Oh, what a smooth ass transition. I love that. You don't even notice and you're with other people.
the exploration. I will never get this movement right. So I guess we're searching for someone. Or not, Jesus Christ, it's like... Some people have grapple hooks. Yeah, so we should be hiding. Now she's like, stopping. Yeah, then you gave it a red tin. Now it's not. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's a reason why I don't turn the voice chat in games of that caliber. Okay, here I noticed the skip. There's a variety of stages. Oh my god. It's like a never ending cycle. I mean, I am bored, but that's just because my specific taste in VR gaming. I suppose I opt to just explore around and see stuff, but this is really not for me. But I like those lines. Let's see... One last word. I wonder if they're like randomly generated cause... I can go back where I was. And the block's color change. That's huge. I'll go on, 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 I'll go
you know what's the issue though? I did not make a video on it yet, but from August 5th, Apple Apple is getting discontinued and game of such situation. Will be on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, but I'm done. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff going on, but classically, not much guidance, so I get easily lost and I just don't know what to do. Simple as that. It feels somewhat Minecraftish because of the block system and you travel across multiple worlds kind of seamlessly there are some performance hiccups so you kind of notice that but the environments really are different from each other you have some sort of a basic energy or something to deploy blocks and build whatever you want and everyone can do so which is pretty interesting like giving the creative freedom to everyone in the game graphics are terrible maybe some resolution distance as with every game nowadays 360 i mean no <laughs> it's very simple i wonder if it's because the base environment kind of takes away out of performance which i would kind of imagine because there's a lot of going on, <laughs> especially with the number of people around. If you know what you're doing, then definitely you can excel here. But you need to spend a lot of time and do some proper research. Unlike me just jumping into the unknown. Of course, it's not for me, so I'm not very interested in that particular project. But I do appreciate it, even though I hate those mechanics. 